Did you know that a Sicilian caponata is different than a Neapolitan? Stay tuned for the Neapolitan caponata recipe. Hello everybody, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. Look at the table, all farm fresh summer vegetables. Uh, not going to be using the eggplants right now. Stay tuned for future recipes. But what I'm going to be making today is a classic insalata di pomodoro or tomato salad. But there's a little trick to it. So stay tuned and uh, it really comes together quickly. It's uh, cool, refreshing and so, so delicious. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to be using, you could use a day old stale bread. We're going to be using biscotto di grano. This is a wheat biscuit. Uh, you could find in most Italian stores or even the frisele work great. Now you can see it's hard because it's double baked. See that? Basic recipe is tomato, fresh garlic, oregano. Of course, I brought this back from Italy, my luggage. Uh, the, the wheat biscuit or the frisello, the bread, and you could add, then you could add cucumber, red onions, you could add tuna, of course we're going to get olives too. The base of the tomato salad is delicious summer fresh tomatoes, I have these beautiful Jersey tomatoes here. We have the garlic and the oregano, of course I brought that from Italy. You know what, we're missing basil, let's go pick it outside together. Big this basil plant this one basil and so so high I'm going to show you how to pick it so what you want to do is just pick right below here you see this then you have the new growth coming up and what this does you are removing the top seeds so it fills in at the bottom again just nip it right here like this look this one looks ripe we're gonna pick it Right here I have some Roma tomatoes, but I'm gonna leave them for a few more days. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ripest tomato and I'm going to liquefy it. And the liquid, the, the, the passata from the tomato, the juice of the tomato, what that's going to do is gonna soak up the bread so you don't need to wet it. This is something I just learned. I came back from Italy and I went to eat at Pepe Guida restaurant uh, Nonna Rosa in Monte Chiaro Vicquense, and this is new techniques. That's why I love to travel because when I come back, I always bring something back with me. And I love the idea. This is something I just seen and I want to share it with you. So I'm going to take the ripest tomato and let's put it to the food processor. Just cut it in pieces. Of course, I remove the core here. Okay. Okay, looks perfect. Let's get and pour in a large bowl. Now, I like to already salt the, the, the puree tomato just for extra flavor. It's easier because then it soaks up, the, uh, the bread soaks it up and you have a great, great flavor right in. Taste test it. Oh, si sente l'estate, you could taste summer just absolutely delicious. Let's cut the tomato now. The way I like to cut the tomatoes is almost like in little wedges, but nice and thin, going around and around like this. This is how I like my tomatoes. See that? Just like this. A few cloves of garlic. Red onion goes really well, but tonight I just want to show you the basic, basic uh, recipe. You know, this is one of those things like the black dress. You could dress it up, you could dress it down. Add the tuna, uh, you could add anchovies, olives. Yes, I will add the olives though. Now I'm just gonna just crush the garlic and add it right in. Oregano in. Now, according to your liking, add more, add less, that's really up to you. And then if the chunk is too large, you could just break it because you want like a bite size. You don't want them too big, you don't want them too little. Look, this is the butt of the, um, of the wheat biscuit. You see that? It's probably nice and crunchy and delicious. Okay, now the basil right then. Bisogna stracciarlo con le mani. It's gotta be ripped apart with your hands. Just like this. 
and give it a good stir just like this. Be generous with the extra virgin olive oil. Now, let it sit a few minutes because you want the biscuit to soak up the juice. So you could make this about 30 minutes before serving and it'll be even better. Let's add the olives. Again, give it a good stir and let it sit. You know what also goes really well? Another thing that goes really well is a spicy pepper like the long hots or just any type of spicy pepper cut up in little pieces. Perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. Don't forget to adjust the salt because remember you only put it at the beginning so I'm gonna put a little bit more right now and let's go ahead and plate this. Look at that. Simple, delicious, and in season, that's the way to go. I'm gonna taste it. I just want to let you know that the, the, the bread or the friselle or the, the wheat biscuit, you don't want it to soak it through. It's gotta still have a crunch. It sure does. Oh, delicioso. Watching, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share it, but most importantly, make the food, enjoy with family. Life is just too short. Let's live in the moment. Grazie. Arrivederci alla prossima. Ciao, ciao.